In this video, you'll see how to automate Prometheus installation and configuration using AWS Systems Manager documents. With this capability, you can set up Prometheus consistently, manage fleets of servers at scale, and spend less time managing infrastructure. To get started, let's navigate to Amazon Managed Service for Prometheus, or AMP, and create a workspace. Now let's go to Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or Amazon EC2. For the purposes of this example, we have a running instance that we'll install Prometheus on. This instance has an Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role attached to it, which allows AWS Systems Manager to access it. Additionally, a security group has been set up so we can browse to the port that Prometheus is running on for this instance. Now let's go to Systems Manager to see how we can install Prometheus on the instance using documents. With Systems Manager documents, you can define the actions that System Manager performs on your managed instances. For our purposes, a command document has already been created, which installs and configures Prometheus on Linux instances. Let's view the contents of this document. Several parameters are defined, including three pulled from the Parameter Store. We'll look at those in a moment. After receiving the parameters, the document downloads and configures Prometheus and the Node Exporter service. Let's take a closer look at the Parameter Store values. This parameter value stores the configuration for the Prometheus service we want to run on our EC2 instance. This parameter stores the configuration for the Node Exporter service. This is the Prometheus scrape configuration which defines the targets to scrape metrics from and where to remote write them to. In this example, the metrics are sent to the AMP workspace we created earlier. Now let's execute the command document against our EC2 instance manually. Let's review the command parameters. We'll leave the parameters as is. Under Targets, we can choose a method for selecting EC2 instances. We'll choose the instance manually. Let's disable the option to write command output to an Amazon S3 bucket, and then run the command. After a few moments, the command executes successfully. Let's quickly look at the command output. Now let's navigate to the EC2 instance and open the port that Prometheus is running on. Here we can see that data is being collected. We can also see the scrape configuration. Now let's see how to execute the command document against our EC2 instances automatically. To do this, we'll use an auto-scaling group. We already have an auto-scaling group created for our purposes. This auto-scaling group won't launch any instances until the capacity is greater than zero. The launch template specifies the AMI, instance type, security group, and IAM instance profile to use when launching a new EC2 instance. Now let's create a lifecycle hook to perform the configuration on newly launched instances. The lifecycle hook will generate instance launch notifications and send them to Amazon EventBridge. An Amazon EventBridge rule has been configured to send the notifications to an AWS Lambda function. This Lambda function automates the same calls that we used to run the Prometheus installation manually. The function receives the auto-scaling group lifecycle event, finds the name of the AWS Systems Manager command document, and identifies the EC2 instance to run against. It then sends the document to the EC2 instance. Once the run command finishes executing, the send lifecycle action command is called. This command tells the auto-scaling group that the lifecycle action has been completed and the instance is ready to go into service. Now let's see this Lambda function in action.
We'll update the desired capacity of the auto scaling group to 1. The auto scaling group is now updating the capacity. Let's view our EC2 instances. We can now see the new instance. Let's navigate to the port address of the Prometheus server. As expected, Prometheus was automatically installed through the lifecycle hook we set up. This instance has the same scrape configuration we saw earlier and is remote writing to the AMP workspace. You've just seen how to automatically install Prometheus using AWS Systems Manager documents. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.